Hey, my name is Seeks, and welcome back to another weekly bite of MMORPG news. Video series where I talk about all of the MMO related news that matter to me over the course of the last week, maybe two. We have a lot to talk about this week, so let's just skip the intro and jump right in. Let's start this off with Perfect New World. This is the new Perfect World MMO from Perfect World Entertainment, who made Perfect World International. I know it, it's it's difficult to follow, but they held a beta test back a couple months ago. It was absolutely terrible, but they're they're back. They've made alterations, they made improvements, and to enter, you can spin to win. So that's interesting. Beginning October 12th, so that was like a day or two ago you can log in and spin daily for an rng gotcha style beta test participation which i just that is so depressing that that's the route they've taken with regards to issuing beta access for the game either way i'm so curious what this plays like and how this will ultimately end up given i was a big fan of perfect world international back in i think 2008 Phil Spencer announced that Microsoft finally purchased Blizzard Entertainment, which means that Microsoft is going to be getting a whole lot of new games. World of Warcraft and the entire Warcraft franchise, the Starcraft intellectual property, the Diablo franchise intellectual property, and more. It is unconfirmed when we're gonna start seeing the effect that this purchase will have on all of Blizzard's games, but I wouldn't anticipate it really being that far off. Alicia, as of two days ago, launched into Early Access. This is an MMO I've been following for a little while now. Apparently it costs $15, so it's it's probably not doing very well. Yeah, check in the Steam chart for the game. There are 40 people playing right now, 58, 24 hour peak, and 100 player peak when the game launched two days ago. Well, that's what happens when you launch a game with a premium price tag when your game looks like that <laughs> there are four servers that are currently open us east west central eu and australia if you're interested in playing it it is available on steam so go right ahead fractured online is holding a full play test over the course of the uh, second week october weekend so that is right now it has been extended for an entire week for anyone that is interested in playing game servers will be open to all registered users and there will be no founders pack necessary this is big because up until this point you required one so they want as many people logging in and playing the game as possible right now anvil empires which is a, an upcoming MMO announced that they are looking to hold a major pre-alpha test phase this weekend beginning Friday the 13th at 1 p.m. The goal of this is to evaluate the current build in a more real world setting. Signups for a possible invite are handled through Steam. They're open 72 hours from yesterday, meaning you've got about two more days to enter. So I would strongly encourage you to, if you're interested in the, the warfare themes MMO, go ahead and Try your luck. Bailey rolled out a big update and introduced the Hodari Romance, Obstacle Course, Halloween Decor, Flare Arrows, and so much more. If you're playing the game or you're interested in playing the game, now is the opportunity to jump in and, and take the content for a test run. Wayfinder held their Wayfinder Wednesday blog number three. They went over their plans for 2024, mid-season updates, Known issues, an FAQ, giveaway winner. There's a lot of info to digest here. There's a lot of content to look forward to. If you're enjoying Wayfinder, then I'd urge you to go ahead and read through that. There is a note here concerning the free to play launch too. I believe Wayfinder is not doing very good right now. Not because it's a bad game, but just because the buy to play early access that it launched into is just the wrong route to take. But I mean, they made a lot of money from it. So, I mean, that's what counts, right? The Quinfall made a couple tweets over on their Twitter and actually showcased a lot of the character creation. Wrinkles, eyebrows, 
eyelash customization, lip customizations, and, and I think they actually, they also showed some of the race and class combinations as well while showing off even more of their game. And honestly, it looks pretty good. I think all of it looks pretty good. Excited to see more. Now, before we go any further into this video, I wanna take a moment here to thank our incredible patrons over on Patreon and allow for me to continue to do videos like this every single day. You guys are absolutely awesome. I cannot thank you all enough. Next, Tower of Fantasy version 3.3, a sword dance of ice is launching on October 24th. If you're interested in playing it, now is the perfect time to. Honestly, I played 3.2 and it was kind of boring. 3.0 and 3.1 were pretty fun. I have a dedicated video over on my Sticks channel on whether you should play the game in 2023 if you're interested in learning more about it. Ship of Heroes is holding a free demo on Steam until Monday. If you've been looking for a new superhero MMO to replace DC Universe Online, Champions Online, City of Heroes, this might be the opportunity to. It's available up until October 16th if you want to try it out. Lost Ark released their October Monster Bash notes. This introduced a lot of new content, a new continent, new trial raid, new guardian raid, the new the Shining Harvest event. There's a, there's a lot to, to digest here as well. If you're playing Lost Ark, you probably already know this, but if you're not playing or you're waiting for an update, this is the opportunity to go ahead and try it out. Dual Revolution is actually an MMO that I bet you've never heard of. This is a Pokemon-esque MMO. Kind of like Pokemon, kind of like Temtem. I had not heard of this until earlier today. Full online gameplay, fully playable with friends in real time. You can party up with them, you can adventure, and you can duel alongside or against your friends. You can explore the world. A continuous storyline with new chapters being added regularly. Weekly tournaments, pixel art design, a quest system, day and night cycles, crafting, character customization, and fully free to play. So if you're interested, this might be something that is definitely worth trying out. Gameforge released Ion Patch 2.4, Stormwing's Revenge on the EU servers. The NA servers haven't actually had an update in months for Classic, I'm not sure why that is. If you're playing Classic, then here's something for you to have some fun in. Diablo 4 is launching onto Steam on October 17th, and I, oh boy, I guarantee you there's gonna be a lot of drama concerning the release. I, I honestly, I don't know anyone that still plays Diablo 4. I know a lot of people meme the game and criticize the game for numerous reasons. Expanding the game and making it more accessible for more players is never a bad thing. And that is it. That is all the MMO news that mattered to me over the course of the last week. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Stay up to date with everything that's going on in the genre. Otherwise, if you're not interested in any of this, absolutely no problem. I got you covered with two different videos on screen right now. It might be more interest to you.